Okay. I just had a an hour break, so I've forgotten what I was doing. But I did a whole bunch of stuff this morning. Uh, so here's where we are so far. Um... Yes. Um, so if you have multiple tracks on the workspace, then I'm going to make it so that you can export individual stems if you want. Um, so you can drag things from here to here and then drag them back again. That's what I've achieved, I think. Um, Also, uh, okay. Yeah, so these disabled items, I want to change the way they look so that the uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> ah. Okay, so. Let's just do that. So now when when it goes into the disabled state. Okay, that looks okay. Uh, so when they're disabled, you shouldn't be able to drag them or select them. <clears throat> but you can by doing that. But that's a bit fiddly to fix, I think. Um, but then when you drag it only selects the the actual the draggable ones so it's okay uh, so this is all working so far I think these buttons don't do anything yet I guess I will um, add a double click to transfer as well um, but one thing I want to do is set it up so that okay so if you right click on the workspace and say export workspace, you should open the dialog and automatically like set things up so that the workspace that you clicked on is like that. So it should set up the dialog like this. And if you right click on a block and say export, it should set it up on transfer over the one that you already clicked on. Um, yeah, let's do that. So... <clears throat> right. Okay. So I want to move this, no, I want to move this thing into here. Oh, I need to Same thing here. OK. 
Okay. Um... So populate project browser. And then I want to, I guess just set, set export list. Like this. I also want to make it so that you can right click and export the selected blocks as well. But I'll do that later. Well, let's create the interface first. So, going on Okie dokie, so set export list, what is this? Set export list. <clears throat> I don't need this anymore, that was just for testing, okay. So I just go import export list like that. Rebuild. And what's this? This is still in the wrong place, but it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so what are you complaining about? Oh yeah. Oh, 
I need to sort that list as well. Make sure it's sorted. Uh, okay, so if I right click on the workspace, okay, it works. Okay. Oh, and that works as well. Wasn't expecting. Wait, it didn't work the first time I did it, did it? Or did I? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, that's cool. Um, nice. I could also add like an an export stems option here, but it's not really necessary because it's so easy to just do this. Okay, I'm going to remove this button from here. Or replace it with just an export button that just opens the dialog and doesn't auto move anything. Uh, yeah, let's do that now. Where is that? I don't know. Project settings page is this it yes so you can tell that i made this when i didn't understand how to use godot layouts properly because there's no need for this center container because i can just go Shrink center. Okay, um, export button is what I would call it. And TR export. Okay. Right, project settings page. Why do I have this? Don't know. I can also do this button line edit text edit. Pilot usually t does this for me. Yeah. Okay. And let's improve this situation here.
uh, and this is just going to open the dialog and do nothing else. So export dialog to um, just open handy suit just to. Yeah, I just need an open function. Open. We'll do this with an empty export list. Okay. line edit. What did I do wrong? Comments. Text edit. I might also people have been asking me to bring back the the new load save buttons so that you don't have to right click the context menu to do it. Save save as open. <clears throat> the reason that's not like a really trivial five second thing to do is um um I want to be. I want the um, the save button to be actually um, disabled if it's a project that has not currently been saved and has a file name associated with it, because then only um, I can't remember what the rules are. I figured out all the rules <laughs> ages ago. Um, like if you have a save button and a save as button oh also if you have a, a new project then I want to like disable the new project until you do at least one thing in the project I want to dis have the new project button disabled until you do something um, I used to have all that figured out back years, years ago when I had the uh the new save open buttons. All right, let's just fucking do it. <laughs> let's do it right now. Let's figure it out. Um, so I actually want this to be shrink end. Export button. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to create a HBox here. And the HBox needs to do this, no? Or is it like this? Uh, yeah, okay, export. New project button. Um, 
What comes first, save or open? I don't know. Let's just say new, new button, save button, save as button, open button, export button. New GM menu new project open TL menu open project can you spell uh, save TM and you save project, TM and you save project as like that. And I did have some icons before. Should we add the icons? See if it looks okay with the icons. Save. So if save. And save as open. Is it called load? Yes. I don't have an export button, uh, export icon. I don't even know what that would look like. Um, okay. So they're too wide. I could put them in a. Um, a flow container, I guess. What's it called? H flow container. Then I fill. Which aligns them to the right. I mean to the left instead of the right. I think I'm supposed to do th this. Nope. How do I do it? How do I make them uh, right aligned instead? There's a way to do it, I'm pretty sure. How do you make them right aligned? <coughs> um... Is it to do with the child elements? I don't think so. Maybe it's not possible to make them right aligned. I could do that, which is not very good. If I can't make them right aligned, I'm not interested. <laughs> I... There must be a way. I thought it would have been this. Don't know. Why is there no resize handle? Weird. Ah, theme overrides. No, that doesn't help. What's happening now? Hmm. 
Obviously that's no good. I don't know why people were asking for these buttons to come back. I guess because people just don't like context menus. I don't really like context menus either. Hmm. Does it work? Can I center align it at least with a flow container? Doesn't seem like it. Both, both. Shrink center, that just does that, that's no good. Man, flow containers are really rubbish, huh? They seem rubbish. What other containers? Nothing. I got nothing. Oops. I hate these buttons. I'll figure something out else out in the future. I'm not doing these buttons. Let's just do this instead. Uh, fuck those buttons. I'll bring the bu buttons back somehow in the future, but I'm spending too much time trying to figure it out right now. Uh, can I try putting this here instead? See how that looks. It looks weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, export. There you go. Uh, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, it does. It's fine. It's just because there's no content yet. So, there you go. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I have an export button. Now let's do a um, make it sheet so you can export selected blocks. So where do I have to go for that? Block context menu. What what shortcut did I just press to achieve this? The result cannot be viewed in line. I don't know what... I accidentally pressed something. I've never seen that before. Uh, right. Okay. Export. See our menus. Export. Selected. Blocks.
a bit of inconsistency here. Well, I usually put brackets around it, it looks like, but sometimes I don't. That's fine. Um, all right, so this should be TR menu export block. So I remove this from here, do I? Quite understand this uh, this setup here. <coughs> okay, um, so where's this handled? It'll be somewhere where I'm doing this. Triggered. So we have to pass this. Multi. to trigger export, wherever that is. How's this work? Get blocks to modify, that's what Context menu, get box to modify. Oh, this is a. Oh, yes, okay. <coughs> uh, blocks to modify. Um, block context menu, get box to modify. Clicked, perf. So it returns. Oh, that's exactly what I need to pass in, right? So I just go export items, block IDs. All right, I think that should work. Let's have a look. I go like this, I like select multiple blocks and go export selected blocks and nothing happens because I didn't actually implement that, that function, right? Just mute the microphone to cough there, okay. Um, So, uh, make 
project ID list from this. Yes, thank you. Uh, yep. Now I can select multiple blocks, connect that, and it doesn't work. Let's see what's going on. So what happens here? Interesting. It worked the second time I did it. Why did it work the second time? don't understand that. Let's go again. So it should rebuild here. And it does this. That's weird. Um, Something weird's going on. So the added item list get cleared at some point. Maybe. Added items four. I have four added items. Oh ha 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 ha. Yeah, uh, I need to generate the project browser first. So now, selected four. Yeah, it works. But then it doesn't disable these. So let's do that, I guess. Uh, how do I do that? Um, bum, 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 bum. It's not hard, right? I just go like this. I don't like what I'm doing here, actually, but it will be fine. Shh, 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 shh. 
Also, I should check um, if I create clones. Why is that font so big? <laughs> Interesting. Um, so this should add two blocks to the export list because these ones are just clones. If I do this, yeah, it works. Okay, good. It still didn't update this properly. Uh, this one and this one should be disabled. And actually I can tell that they are disabled because I can't click on them. And also it's going to skip past it, isn't it, if I do that. It skips past the disabled ones. Uh, but the colour just isn't being updated. So... This didn't work. For some reason. Why not? I'm doing things in the right order now. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. Let's have a look at this. So 392 and 394. Is it just going to say that it's not visible? It says it's not visible. Item index. Doesn't exist in this yet. How does that make any sense? That doesn't make sense. Why is this happening now? I'm confused about something. Uh, what's going on? Oh, it does this straight away. So populate project browser. Ah, oh, right, and it just marks it as, all right. It marks it for building, right, right, right. That makes sense. That, yeah, that's why this is such a stupid, um, Is to put this code. How should I do it then? <coughs> How should I do it? La -da -da. Um, this is already happening here. Okay. Why would that even be necessary then? It actually doesn't make sense because... I don't see why this would be necessary. Actually. This should run. This is building so at this point I should have stuff in here, right? I have three in here. Four four six four four eight four fifty. So when I Okay, this is fine. Then we get to here. Again, look at this. Four four six four four eight four fifty. So at some point it's gonna create those. Here we go, four four six. This should return true and it returns false. So this function is broken. Oh, 
Oh, good point. That's a good point. That map is not constructed until later. Uh, so let's just do something weird here. Let's um, do it like this. That'll always work now, I think. Yeah. And bang. Okay, it worked. Good. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's do um <coughs> Oops. So let's uh let's get rid of this save to files button. Um, which doesn't do anything at the moment. Samples as well. I have this export button, but it disappears when I have multiple selected, which it shouldn't do anymore. Okay, let's sort out the blocks first. So I want you to be able to select blocks here and then click an export button and open the dialog that way as well. And the same for samples. So, oops, block info panel, I think it is. So the, the thing that pops up at the bottom of the block browser. And it looks like a giant mess. Info panel. Export button. TR exports. Get rid of this one. this. That's not used. Alright, let's clean up this class a little bit. Uh, just want to convert things over to the way that I write things now. Do, 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 do. Why do I need all this? Why do I need that, for example? 
I don't. I don't need that either, or that. Name and folder. Folder editor. It's Vfox. Why do I need the label? So that I can hide and show it. Okay. Pilot, it's your time to sh shine. Export button. Should I give that a name? So There we go. On export button pressed. <coughs> Export items. There we go. Like that. Easy peasy. Um, then this doesn't matter if it's a single item or multiple items, it should always be visible. Okay, there we go. Oops, I didn't place them. Okay. So if we select one and go export, then it, it exports it. Multiple export. Yes, it's working. It's working, guys. And I have duplicates of all the samples because I accidentally imported them twice. Okay. Cool. Same thing for the sample info panel. Which already has an export button. Sample info panel. Can export. The fuck is that? Oh, it's... Ah, oh, right, it needs to be loaded. Right. Uh, yeah, that's like something that I didn't think about. So samples can appear in the project in an unloaded state. And if they're unloaded, they're, non they're not exportable.
Okay, so that's going to be dealt with later now. It's not going to be dealt with here. So the export button is always visible. Now. And uh, later on during the export process, I check if the samples are actually exportable. Okay. So I need to make a note of that in case I forget. Um, Actually, can export is just here. He's loaded. Oops, wrong one. Dialogue this export dialogue. There we go. Export one. Yep. Export multiple. Yep. Yeah. 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 